Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 631-756-1125. Best prices in the New York tri-state area on rock salt and anything else you need when it comes to uh, winter weather preparedness. Uh, the website is omnitruevalue.com and brought to you by Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, meeting all your decorating needs at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York. And their number is 631-957-5106. And the website is liholidaylighting.com. All right, we're getting uh, clobbered with rain, clearly. And uh, you can see on the satellite loop what's going on here in the Northeast. And if you're looking at what's off the coast and uh, saying, okay, this is, this kind of looks like we got two storms here. Well, we do and we don't. Uh, we've got the actual coastal low now that is taking over. The old primary low that yesterday moved across Indiana and Ohio is all but gone. And what you're seeing back near the coastline is actually the upper air feature that's generated all this big rain that we've had overnight and this is the radar as of 6 30 eastern time to 6 30 a.m eastern time the southern edge of this rain is now pulling out of southern new jersey and it's also uh, in kind of sitting there in eastern pennsylvania but uh, you look at the radar observations we've had quite a bit of a moderate to heavy rain uh, we've had a number of flash flood warnings up for new uh, new jersey uh, rainfall amounts overnight uh, have been uh, up to several inches in some places, in some places even a little bit more. And we still have some more work to do as this surge on the radar continues to move northward. So uh, I'm going to jump right over to the weather models here and, and take a look at how this is all going to play out today. And I'm starting out <clears throat> with the uh, latest NAM model, and this is actually at 5 a.m. Uh, so it kind of matches up with the radar pretty well. And you'll notice that uh, here is your coastal low. This is what is going to become the uh, the quote-unquote nor'easter. So uh, the rain that is moving northward is only going to get so far north. And you see, see it reaching here in New York City at 11 this morning. It it's kind of stops making northward progress there. And then you start to look at that coastal low that's moving northward it's going to make a counterclockwise loop and go back westward uh, and southwestward, south of uh, Nantucket. So then we got start to see this rain here. If you watch it, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of count, I'll count, try to count down the hours for you here. So this is at 8 a.m. Uh, south uh, West Jersey, southeast Pennsylvania, Maryland, Delaware, rain is done. Uh, northern New Jersey, Hudson Valley, and into Connecticut is still going on. Same for Long Island. Uh, here we are at 11 a.m., the back edge just to about New York City. But doesn't it kind of struggles after that. And then that rain uh, starts to back southwestward as that low begins to make its counterclockwise loop. So uh, this is to the point when the coastal low really will exert its force. And in terms of wind, uh, we're talking about uh, 50 to 60 mile an hour winds over southeastern New England. Uh, the gradient is tightest where the low is, and eastern Long Island, eastern Connecticut are probably going to get into this later to, uh, late today and tonight, uh, where we'll probably see some gusts there in the 40 to 50 mile an hour range. But as you go further to the west, I think wind is going to be less of a problem uh, and, and certainly confined more to the coast. I don't think you're going to see a big wind gusts in uh, inland areas, maybe 20 miles an hour, maybe the occasional 25 or 30, but that should be about it. Uh, notice the rain uh, into tonight continues back southward down into southern New Jersey. We kind of have to wait for the low to get out of the way. Uh, and then tomorrow morning, finally, uh, most of the rain will be done and the low moving southeast and then east and then heads on uh, to uh, the out into the Atlantic and we're done with it. Now, I want to... Uh, also, give a little bit of attention here to the next weather system. And here we have it uh, on the, uh, we're going to go to the GFS model because it'll go out further. So uh, we're in this blocky pattern uh, here. This is Thursday, 2 a.m. High pressure is trying to build in on the backside. I don't think we're going to see much in the way of, of improvement skywise on Wednesday. Probably a lot of leftover low clouds. Thursday, 
if we start out with a little bit of sun, it's going to cloud over relatively quickly. Here comes your next low, and we still have the block. In fact, if you look carefully here on the G on the GFS, you can actually you still see the low on the right. Uh, the first system is just taking its sweet time getting out of the way, and you got high pressure to the north. This one, the block is going to start to weaken, so that's going to allow uh, the low to move uh, and the features here to move further west. So you're not going to have an upper air system that's just kind of going out underneath you. So the bottom line is we're going to probably see some rain develop here uh, Thursday night uh, and certainly uh, during the day on Friday, probably going to get an arm of rain that's going to come up from the south. Uh, it, this should play out um, a bit better than this first system. I think this is going to be easier to handle and we will get less in the way of rain out of this uh, from what we're seeing today. And it's going to take much of the weekend to get this low out of the way. So we're going to have lingering showers on Saturday and maybe some slow improvement with brightening of skies or perhaps even a few breaks of sun come Sunday. And then eventually, as we move through next week, a, 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 a chillier pattern uh, will be uh, taking, taking, uh, taking over. So bear that in mind. Still got a long way to go today, obviously, with everything that's happening uh, with respect to um, uh, the rainfall uh, the rainfall, at least, uh, is going. I, we mentioned this on the Joe and Joe Weather Show last night that the rainfall totals are going to be probably a little bit less than what happened with Ida. Uh, the other upside here is that the, in terms of the time, and this is what's most important, the ra rainfall from Ida was concentrated in a relatively short period of time. This one spread out, so that allows you know a little more time for rain to drain, even if it's coming down heavily. Uh, it does get a chance uh, to uh, to drain out, and that's why I'm thinking that while it is going to be certainly problematic for a lot of areas, I don't think this is going to get up to the standard of what we saw uh, with Ida. So just really fast, uh, looking at flash flood watches continuing. We've got high wind warnings for eastern uh, for eastern Long Island and southeastern New England. We've got flash flood watch warnings up for several counties there in Connecticut. I'm sorry, in New Jersey that you can see. Uh, with various flood advisories, the flash flood watches continue back into eastern Pennsylvania. So all of that's going to go on uh, for much of today. And then we'll probably see the Weather Service offices adjusting things uh, as we um, head into uh, tonight and into the first part of tomorrow. So uh, bottom line is uh, just try and stay dry. There really isn't much more that, you know, much more that I can say uh, with regards to all of this. So Weather in 5 brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York, 631-756-1125 for the best prices in town. OmniTrueValue.com is the website. And Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist meeting all your decorating needs at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York. And uh, their phone number is 631-957-5106. LI Holiday Lighting is the website. All right, we'll see you tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show. And I may do another Weather in 5 update a little bit uh, later on as we uh, watch the uh, situation evolve as we go through the rest of this morning and head into uh, the afternoon hours. So have a great day. That was a complete waste of my time.